And this is Steve Lessig. He's stuck back here. He can't get out. So. All set? This first song I got the idea from for, uh, from Heidi last year. Hello. She put a song up on February Album Writing Month site and said, well, everybody else has a train song, so I guess I'm going to write one. And I thought, I don't have a train song. But this chord progression that I've been working on sort of sounds like train, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think I'll write a train song. And I'll wait until the food goes back that way. The guitar's already been broken once this year, so I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> All right. It's called Train is Coming. I'll count you in one of gifted musicians who would just come up and play, but you need to know why I'm here. Heidi sent me an email a long, long time ago, and she said, I'd like you to do the cover photography for our CD. And my first thought was, I hate doing portraits. Whenever I do portraits, they don't come out right, the lighting's terrible, people's facial expressions look bad. And so I said, well, and she said, there aren't going to be any people in it. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. She had seen a picture that I did with this guitar floating up 
behind the mic stand by itself. And she wanted that for the whole band. So if you haven't seen their CD or bought one, she's got a bunch of them here tonight. And uh, she wanted it that way because the CD's called Invisible Now. So I'm gonna do my song called Invisible. Valentine's Day, so I have to do a Valentine's Day couple of songs. Rob, 
Rob Lincoln's going to come up and join on violin. And he's playing next after us, by the way. He's part of Lessig, Lincoln, and Cole. Just released his 300 song CD. Are you hearing feedback there, Greg? Yeah. Ah, May 3rd. You've heard of Night of the Living Rob. Well, now there's going to be John Song Stravaganza. Saturday, May 3rd, we're going to do the same format that Rob did. People are going to come up and cover my songs, and then I'm going to close the show with my own set. And uh, hope we have a lot of people turn out for that. You've got plenty to choose from. I'm up over 300 now, too, right, Rob? Yeah, he did it in six years. It took me about 38. <laughs> but I'm at 467, but who's counting? <laughs> That's right. Okay, so for Valentine's Day, this first song has its roots several thousand years ago. That's funny. I don't know. <laughs> King David. It was late in the evening, probably after dark, and he couldn't sleep. There was nobody on Facebook to chat with. So he went up on the palace roof and he wandered around. And uh, while he was out there looking over the grounds, he saw Bathsheba. She was bathing, and she was so beautiful. And he just knew right then that he had to have her, and he sent his servants out to get her. And of course, they made love, and she got pregnant. This was not good news for him. And he should have known better, because she was forbidden fruit. Just to pretend 
All right, I mentioned King David out on the roof not able to sleep. That's kind of my story. I can never sleep. I rarely have a day, maybe once or twice a year, where I wake up and I feel rested. But this song has its roots in one of those days, just two years ago. And uh, I woke up and the sun was shining in and my body just felt completely at peace. I don't know where that came from. If I could bottle it, I'd do it again. And I remembered I was dreaming about something. Huh? Am I in this song or not? Yes, you're in this song. Oh, okay. Rob is in this song. And I remembered I was dreaming about somebody. I knew who it was. And I thought, oh, I want to remember this dream. And I reached out to grab it, and it just poof, went the other way. So all that's left is this song, which is called Secret Valentine. significant other and you just get annoyed at the whole holiday so this song might fit you a little better <laughs> it works well for me so. it's called without 
back this way? No, I'm going to stay the rest of the Okay. I know Steve's not leaving. I don't. I'm going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln and Cohen. No lessing. Woo! Oh, really? Yeah. And then Cubism. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've done songs that Heidi inspired me to write, and I've done songs for Valentine's and not for Valentine's. This one is just about me. It's about me and me and me, all different ages. And we're all gathered around the table having a banquet and discussing whose fault it is. 
Wait, there's only one answer. If you get a chance, look up John Sherling and Banquet of Fools on YouTube. I spent a lot of time on the video for this. And that's why I have no mustache for the first time in my life. Because one of me didn't have a mustache. <laughs> it's called Banquet of Fools. for this song, but most people who heard it were fooled, and uh, the song actually, well it sounds kind of spiritual, it's actually about somebody who's very special to me, and uh, her name is encoded in the song, so it's good. <laughs>
I'll turn a little. It's called Lift Me Up. Mark your calendar now, right here. 